Um, so without further ado, MEV, as it stands today, is a real problem. The first problem is there's an allocation problem. And what I mean by that is MEV is value that is extracted from users. Yet, where does the value flow? In the current market structure, the people that end up with all this value are the proposers. So you have value being extracted from users and flowing to proposers who are simply agents of the protocol. That's kind of weird. You would assume, well, you would hope maybe the users would get it. If not, maybe the applications who are generating it. If not, at least the protocol. But the idea that these out of protocol kind of agents of the protocol are getting all this value, that's kind of a weird market structure. And the second problem with MEV as it stands today is a centralization problem. And what I mean there is, first off, there's an oligopoly in the current MEV structure. About two builders represent about 85% of all blocks built. That's an oligopoly. Um, and the other big problem is there's a incentive to co-locate. There's a centralization problem that's geographic. Um, so the idea here is a little bit nuanced. I'm happy to talk more about it in the Q&A section. But the idea is there's an incentive to propose your block as late as possible. You get more MEV that way. And if the incentive is to, to propose the block as late as possible, you want to be co-located with other proposers to make sure your block is accepted. So slowly over time, you should accept, ex expect geographical centralization. And we're seeing that. So that's not so good. For the sake of the network, we really hope for geographical robustness. And yet the current state of MEV is actually putting